We are really excited about everything that we've shown here tonight, but I know there are a lot of you who are really here or really wondering about Fallout 76. And I'm pleased to tell you that your wait is finally over. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the recipient of numerous Lifetime Achievement and Hall of Fame awards. He is the game director at a studio that has won a bevy of accolades and awards. And he's here tonight to tell us what he and his team have been taking so damn long to tell us all about. <laughs> Will you please welcome my very good friend, Mr. Todd Howard. Looking good. Oh, it's great to be back at E3. Thank you, thank you so much. I could not be more excited to be here. I want to thank all our fans who came out tonight. And the millions of you watching online. We can't thank you enough. This is actually my 25th year at Bethesda. And I have seen... I have seen a lot of cool things in that time. I got to say, tonight is definitely, definitely one of them. I got to go to the very first E3 right here in Los Angeles. I know. They're so cute when they're little. <laughs> they're full of energy and life. And then, uh, remember when little E3 ran away from home, went to Atlanta? Yes. You, a lot of you didn't come. I liked Atlanta or East Coast. And then E3 went through the, the moody teen years and came back and locked itself in its room. <laughs> Remember, it was in the convention center, but just in the meeting rooms. They didn't invite anybody. And I can remember literally walking between the halls and seeing nobody. I was like, this is how a zombie movie starts. <laughs> and now E3 has grown up. It's in its 20s. It's more confident, can handle its alcohol better, like all of you. Thank you. So there's a good, there's a good party after this, so pace yourselves. And I hope you're comfortable, by the way. I'm going to be here for a while. <laughs> and E3 has become such an incredible week of entertainment, but we know that most of you came here for one thing. Thank you. I think it's to see where we're putting Skyrim next. Well, I think we have the best one yet. The Elder Scrolls speak of the past and the future. Now, Skyrim looks to the future, to its ultimate version. Alexa, play Skyrim. You're level 57 and see a tall snowy mountain. Climb it. Now, Skyrim and life become one. A mud crab scuttles towards the. Fusroda! I didn't catch that. Fusroda! I didn't quite catch no, that. No, Fusroda! Your shout echoes all the way to Sovngarde. What happened? Fusroda. That's the command for knocking things over. Is there a command for picking shit up? Ever reached that level yet? I'm sworn to carry your burdens. Ooh. The dragon unleashes fire breath on you. Okay. You have 7% health left. Oh, shit. Uh, I, I drink a health po potion. You are out of health potions. Oh, uh, oh uh, how many uh, wheels of cheese do I have left? 473. Okay, I eat all the cheese. I eat all of the cheese. All the hmm? Hey, huh? Hmm? Um, remember what the doctor said about dairy? Yes. Right, yes, of course. You're the greatest. 
Thank you so much. I eat all of the cheese. Introducing Skyrim, very special edition. Also coming soon to Etch a Sketch. Motorola Pagers. Oh shit! And your Samsung Smart Refrigerator. Eastland News. Oh, that's cool. Had to, had to do it, had to do it. Okay, really, uh, we both know why you're here, and that's to talk about the next Fallout. <laughs> Fallout 76 is a prequel to all the other games, and it's our biggest one yet. It is four times the size of Fallout 4. Set in the hills of West Virginia, you are one of the first to emerge into an untamed and very different wasteland. after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech, but it was built by you. So that if the bombs do come, our way of life will endure. Almost heaven West Virginia Blue Ridge Mountains Shenandoah River Life is all there Older than the trees Younger than the mountains Blowing like the breeze Country roads Take me When the fighting has stopped and the fallout has settled, you must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings, but hearts and minds, and ultimately, America itself. In Vault 76, our future begins. Vault 76, one of the very first vaults to open, was built to celebrate America's tercentenary, which is an awesome word, by the way. Like, that's your word of the night, tercentenary. You are one of the very special few selected to be an occupant and spend 25 years underground waiting for Reclamation Day, the day the vault opens. Good morning, Vault 76. This is the Overseer. I hope you all enjoyed the party last night, even those who may have overindulged and overslept. But it's time to get up and get out there. We've been locked away long enough. Today is Reclamation Day. 
Oh, finally! I feared you'd never wake up. Don't you remember? Time to leave the vault. Most of the others have already gone. It may be time to leave, but I'll never forget the day you all entered Vault 76. You come from every walk of life, every race, color, and creed. But you all share one very important trait. You are this country's best and brightest. But more importantly, you'll always be my family. Goodbye! Aloha! Ciao! We always start with the world, and this time it features all new rendering, lighting, and landscape technology. It allows us to have 16 times the detail and even view distant weather systems across the map. Now, most people don't know West Virginia that well. It is an incredible array of natural wonders, towns, and government secrets. This is where the actual nuclear secrets are. And the quest the overseer sends you on will take you through six distinct regions, each with their own style, risks, and rewards. There's plenty of cool new fallout creatures, and we even use the folklore of West Virginia to bring our fallout versions to life. We have always wanted to tell that story of what it would be like for you and the other characters who were first to leave the vaults. But there is one big difference with this game. It's that each of those characters is a real person. Because yes, Fallout 76 is entirely online. Okay. I know, there's a lot. Uh, you have like a thousand questions right now. So I'm going to go through them in order. Now, I'll hit a couple of the big ones. First, of course, you can play this solo. All right? You'll, you'll be who you want exploring a huge world, doing quests, experiencing a story, and leveling up. We love those things about our games, too. It would not have it any other way. But also, like many of you, we have always wanted to see what our style of game could be with multiplayer. So many of us talk about experiences in our games, but we've never experienced them together. So about four years ago, we hit upon an idea that is perfect for Fallout. Open world, survival, every person and character is real. And it was an idea that we just couldn't shake. We knew we had to do it and do it in a really big way. Now, I know you may have played survival modes in like some of our previous games or some other online games, and we, you know, people wonder, is this hardcore survival? I like to think of it maybe, it's more softcore survival. <laughs> maybe that should be a new ESRB descriptor. Um, <laughs> death never means the loss of progression or the loss of your character. Your character isn't tied to one server. As a matter of fact, you'll never even see a server when you play. You'll be in a world with dozens, not hundreds and not thousands of other players. It's the apocalypse. It's not an amusement park, okay? 
And you'll be able to join your friends whenever you want, and all of your progression goes with you. When we think about games, we think about worlds and the choices that you can make, the stories that you create and tell yourself. By creating a wide open world with very few rules, we have a game more than any game that we've ever done where the choices are yours, where you'll decide what happens. You'll decide the heroes and you'll decide the villains. Look, this is a whole new world for all of us here. And fortunately, our friends at Voltec have made a series of informational videos for when all of us emerge together. As you venture out into this new American frontier, some of your fellow survivors may not be neighborly. Chin up there, sport. Not all Vault 76 dwellers will be so hostile. Find them and brave the new world together. Whether you choose to explore the wasteland alone or with friends, your day... Yourself. By creating a wide open world with very few rules, we have a game more than any game that we've ever done where the choices are yours, where you'll decide what happens. You'll decide the heroes, and you'll decide the villains. Look, this is a whole new world for all of us here. And fortunately, our friends at vault have made a series of informational videos for when all of us emerge together. As you venture out into this new American frontier, some of your fellow survivors may not be neighborly. Like previous fallouts, you can play this game solo in Quest. But the easiest way to survive in the wasteland is to team up and build together. And in this one, you can build wherever you want. And you can also then move that to wherever you want. After thermonuclear war, man's towering industrial marvels may no longer stretch to the heavens. What separates man from beast? It is his desire to build. Get started with camps. The construction and assembly mobile platform. Construct your home of the future. With your home secure, you can now craft handmade ordnance at your leisure to give your altercations that personal touch. It falls on you and the ingenuity of your fellows to rebuild the America we hold dear. But don't become too attached too quickly. Monitor your environment for anything out of the ordinary. The home of tomorrow may undergo certain challenges. After a crisis, work with your neighbors to ensure success. There's no I in nuclear wasteland. Document your adventures. Your memories will shape the new American dream. What's that sound? Oh dear. There goes the neighborhood.
Yeah, we love dynamic game systems. So we thought, why don't we put multiple nuclear missile sites on the map? <laughs> and then let all of you do whatever you want with them. Today's episode, Atomics for Peace. When you emerge from the comfort and safety of your vault, the world you know will have changed. Take your friendly old neighbor, Johnny. Rather than coming over to borrow a cup of sugar, he may now be coming over for murder. The time has come to seek out greater means of protection. Nuclear armaments. That's right. Courtesy of your Uncle Sam, these wonders of the atomic age can be found right in your own backyard. But how does a fella like you acquire nuclear weapons, you may ask? Begin by inquiring with the locals. Gently coax them into cooperation. Use a little elbow grease if you have to. In the likely event you don't acquire a full code on your own, do not give up. Search for others who might be harboring a grudge. You'll have that nuclear launch code in no time. With the power of the atom at your fingertips, be responsible and consider your target carefully. Attention, launch sequence activated. Will your bomb land on a rival camp of degenerates? A random stranger? The local wildlife? Whatever your target may be, take advantage of the resulting fallout to gather rare and valuable resources. Yet these rewards don't come without risk. The fate of this new world is yours to command with the power of the atom. We know you've played a lot of our games and a lot of online games, but this one really is unique. We have built a platform, 100% dedicated servers that will support this game now and for years to come. And look, look, we know this is new for all of you. It's new for us. It's a little bit scary. And to that end, we're going to need your help. Because yes, we are going to have a beta. And it is sponsored by our friends at vault -Tech as well the Break It Early test application. Because <laughs> evidently, these online games are hard, they can have some nasty issues. I, I read on the internet that our games have had a few bugs. <laughs> I did, I read it on the internet, so it's true. And that uh, sometimes it doesn't just work. Anyway, we know together that we are going to build something uh, really special. And we also know that all of you love our special editions. And we have an awesome collector's edition for you. It starts with a map of the world that glows in the fucking dark. And it's great. It's so cool. Uh, it comes with figures you can put on the map. And it also comes with a Fallout collectible that really I've always wanted, so we made them for everybody to buy, and here it is. Straighten up and fly right. Straighten up and fly right. Straighten up and fly right. Cool down, Papa, don't you blow your top. Ain't no use in diving. What's the use of diving? 
cool down, Papa, don't you blow your top. Yes, all of this, the Fallout 76 Power Armor Edition. So you're probably wondering, when is this game coming out? <laughs> We're excited to say that it's coming out this year, November 14th. Thanks again for all your support of Fallout. It's been 10 years since Fallout 3, our very first one. And it's been an incredible journey with all of you. We do have another Fallout anniversary that we are celebrating here at E3. It is the three-year anniversary of Fallout Shelter, which we announced and released right here at E3. And we have some cool surprises for you. Fallout Shelter is coming to the PlayStation 4. And because that guy said it, it's also coming to the Nintendo Switch. You can play it with the Joy-Cons or touch controls. And yes, it's still free. Um, And excited to say these versions are coming out tonight. Hold me close till I get up. Time is better.